Well, the Islamic State group has stepped up its recruitment campaign. Courtney Keeley examines how the rebels are using sophisticated methods to attract new fighters. The Islamic State's recent recruitment videos are slickly produced and aimed at Muslim men in the West. Oh, my brothers living in the West, I know how you feel when you feel depressed. The cure for the depression is jihad fi sabidin. The group remains primarily composed of Iraqis and Syrians. An estimated 6,000 Syrians have joined in the last month. The Islamic State has roots with al-Qaeda in Iraq and its original leader, Abu Musab al-Zarqawi. Nicknamed the Sheikh of the Slaughterers, he's reported to have often personally beheaded his Western captives. The group has been rejected by so-called core al-Qaeda, but in recent months it has metastasized with surprising ferocity into a region all too familiar with violence. It's also published videos of mass executions as well as the recent beheading video of American journalist James Foley. I suspect the Foley video will be an effective recruiting tool. This is a very, very capable group in terms of their propaganda effort, and this video will play right into that narrative. It's a group that wants to show is paying attention to what experts like Douglas Ollivant, a former director for Iraq on the National Security Council and Army officer, is saying about them. And they're extremely sophisticated. What ISIS did was take the words of my co-author, Brian Fishman, and I, and essentially use it to present to their potential followers that, look, these Western analysts take us very seriously. <laughs> It's a multi-pronged effort by a group described by some world leaders as a direct threat to the West. Courtney Keeley, Al Jazeera.